Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. Meow, 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 let me in. She's like, why won't you let me in? So, anyway, today I'll go ahead and uh, do a quick synopsis of what's going to take place. First, I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Matt Gore uh, from The Whiskey Cabinet on Instagram, or you can find him at big underscore whiskey.com or it's on Instagram, whatever, at big underscore whiskey. I'll post a link to his page down below. You can check him. He's all about the whiskey. He did send me a sample, a one ounce sample of the Knob Creek 12 year 120 proof or 120.5 proof cask strength bourbon. So what we're gonna do today, all of these whiskeys have been sourced in the year of 2020. Jesus. Cat's going crazy. It's like, let me get here. So, what we're gonna do? I thought I was gonna, I was planning on doing a bunch of beam, but I've been doing beam in Knob Creek for the last two weeks. So we're gonna do a bunch of different labels. So we've got the 12 year Knob Creek cast strength. We also have the new, Jesus, the new single barrel. Quit it. Quit it. The new single barrel that I picked up and reviewed recently, the nine year. We're also going to throw in a rare breed that was picked up this year. We're going to throw in this year's Colonel E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Jesus. It's like Cujo. We're also going to throw in the Four Roses single barrel that Mr. Curtis Harmon picked up from the actual distillery. This is the OESK, the one that I really liked. And last but not least, We've got over here underneath the thinker, uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B520. So I don't have C920 yet, so we can't do it. But anyway, I'm gonna clip and paste and make this as short and painless. Do y'all hear that? Jesus, stop it. No. Wow. Women, huh? <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and nose, taste, and run through them instead of nosing each one. So we'll see how it goes. Glass number one. Not too much on the nose, very mild. All right, let's see how she tastes. I'm pretty sure I am a product of my own demise. I feel like that's the E.H. Taylor. No, oh, it's really good. It's super good, super good. Anyway, I'm gonna try not to think about that, but as soon as it hits my lips, it's like I automatically start processing and trying to think about what it is. So let's not think about that. We're gonna go on to glass two and go on continue on and just empty mine. I should have had somebody else do these pour for me, but oh well, it is what it is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Smells really good. See how it tastes? Yet again, it's like crap. That tastes like E.H. Taylor, or uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This might be a this might be a bad idea. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to get somebody to come in here and do a double blind tasting for me. Anyway, I might be wrong. Who knows? All right. Mmm, that one smells really good. They all smell. These are all like the tippy top of their respective distilleries. Oh yeah. So I haven't had the Knob Creek 12 year yet. So that might be the oddball in the bunch. I mean, I did, I did like the Knob Creek 9-year, so we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get a sip. That one is definitely Knob Creek. But as far as flavor profile, I think it would have to be, it would be behind these two so far. So I'm going to remember that. I'm going to run through these the first time, and then we'll take a pause, rinse the palate out, and then I'm going to run through them back and forth and just try to figure out which one tastes the best in this specific setting. 
All right, glass number four. Man, they all smell so freaking good. All right, let's get a sip. Number four is the first one that's really thrown me off my game. That one's freaking delicious. At first, I thought it might have been Rare Breed, but then thoughts of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof started jumping through my mind. So I might be way off on my picks. I don't know. This is going to be fun to find out. <laughs> All right. Maybe something's wrong with my nose. They all smell the same. Anyway, all right. Man, I haven't had a lot of this one, so this one's definitely going to throw me off as well. All right, let's see how it tastes. Class number five. I, I think I might have been wrong on the first three, or at least I do believe that that one was Knob Creek, but the last five, that could have been either E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof or Four Roses. So I'm probably way off on my other picks. So that just should tell me I should just quit thinking about what they are and figure out what they mean to me. <laughs> All right, the last one in the Woodford Reserve, Glen Cairn. Yeah, I think my nose is all funked up because they all smell the same. They all just smell wonderful. All right, let's see how it tastes. I'm completely clueless right now on which one of these is the best. Right now, if I had to pick a last place, it would probably be glass number three. Only because it lacked a little bit of characteristics compared to the others. The other five are just phenomenal. I mean, some of the best juice you'll ever get your hands on. But anyway, I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna run through these. Got my water. We're gonna test it out and uh, figure out which one's the best in this setting. Key keywords in this setting because this setting could change and tomorrow things could be different and something else could come out on top. So anyway, stay tuned. I will be right back. Through much deliberation, I feel like I've figured out what will be the first place winner i've gone through almost a full 20 ounce 16 ounce bottle of water and my spittoon is a quarter full so i do recommend to anyone out there and you might think it's blasphemous but if you are ever going to blind taste test six different cask strength whiskeys you need to at least spit out the f first round or two because by the time like i had literally a half ounce i mean i had three ounces of whiskey there three ounces of average probably the lowest one here is uh rare breed and that's 116.8 so probably about 120 125 proof ish give or take of three ounces of whiskey by the time i got to it i'd probably have a little buzz so with that said if you're gonna do will you quit it right there if you're gonna do a big blind tasting with high octane whiskey spit out part of it at least the first round or two and then once you narrow down the top two or three and then you can start swallowing otherwise you're just gonna get drunk and by the time you get to the end everything's gonna taste great so with that said uh the way i got it here's glass one two three four five and six so I picked glass four as the winner. There was this just butterscotch, just Werther's original note that was just overpowering everything else and it was just sweet and creamy. But anyway, let's go ahead and start with number six in last place of this pretty freaking awesome blind tasting. We have Knob Creek Nine Year. I knew it was Knob Creek, so I got that one right. What did I say? I thought that was, uh, I don't even remember. I'll have to go back and watch it. I, I totally forgot what, that, what I called that. But I knew that was Knob Creek. So Knob Creek 9-year 
got last place and that was a freaking honey barrel so that just tells you <laughs> the the quality of whiskeys that are in these glasses or were in these glasses or in these bottles is up here all right in fifth place we have oof, upset of the year colonel e.h taylor barrel proof this is the 2020 batch the 130.3 it was just it was a little too hot a little too hot to be enjoyable that's kind of what that's kind of what ruined it for me a little too hot to be enjoyable in this setting all right in fourth place we have the last class it is four roses oesk so it i feel like it went a little flat in that tasting and it just it just didn't want to stand up against everything else you get out of that trash can all right and glass number five in third place we have elijah craig barrel proof b520 oh no so that means elijah craig barrel proof v b520 that means our first two places are the knob creek 12 and wild turkey rare breed <laughs> So, crap. One, I don't even. I haven't even seen the bottle. The other one, I can get the bottle any day of the week. All right, I'm gonna do a different. Second place, we got Wild Turkey Rare Breed. God dang it! I don't even know how that is possible. Like, I didn't even pick it. Knob Creek KC12. Knob Creek. 120 proof 100, well, I think it's 120.5 12 year cast drink bourbon wow wow that's all I got to say about that so the difference between this one and that one is as wide as the screen <sighs> hey but you know what Rare breed. <laughs> Rare breed is hard to beat. It's just that damn good. Hmm. Hmm. I might have to call Mr. Matt Gore and uh, see if he can source me a bottle of Knob Creek 12 cast strength. Oh, man. I'm a little disheartened. I mean, my, my beloved Elijah Craig got third. I mean, Rare breed got second. I, I kind of felt like that was going to happen but i didn't i don't even remember if i called that as rare breed in the beginning eh taylor where'd you end up third no you were fourth no eh taylor you were fifth i'm sorry i'm getting confused eh taylor was fifth just above knob creek nine year wow so damn it i guess i'm gonna have to do a one-off review of the uh knob creek 12 tomorrow anyway thanks for watching guys i uh, hope you liked the video subscribe to the channel please like it thumbs up share it with your friends god dang it fuck i hope hopefully we'll get some of this knob creek 12 around here this year i mean it's just so you see you see the potential that jim beam has yet they give us trash all the time i would rather go with wild turkey rare breed all day long because it's 40 42 dollars on the shelf and you can always find it crap 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 anyway don't forget check out the beard idiots like the video subscribe check the description below for all the ways to look all the links to help out with the bills in the house and stuff and I'm just kind of disappointed in Knob Creek 12 one <laughs> God damn it. Uh, don't forget to check out Mr. Matt Gore in the uh, whiskey cabinet thanks to him and thanks to uh, Curtis Harmon 
for helping source some of these bottles and uh wow yeah like always folks drink some whiskey share with your friends and family be safe don't drink and drive have a nice day take care mm -hmm. cheers